Hello. Okay. Oh. Uh, and this. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening.
Okay, well, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the first attendance of the night. Also, sharing this here. Okay. Alejandra Beatriz Guzman. Here. Andrea Fabiola Menjivar, Cecilia de Los Angeles, Adrián. Here, teacher. Okay. Cesar Guadalupe Enriquez. Edgar Abel Tejada. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Edson Stanley Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay. Elvira Lorenza Álvarez. Liliana María Luz Guerrero. Irma Raquel García. Present teacher. Present teacher, soy Elvira. Elvira. Present. Ok. Eh, Joana Yesenia García. José Daniel Chávez. Catherine Alejandra Hernández. Present. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present. Present. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Samuel Isaac Flores. Present teacher. Tania Pamela Montoya. Present, mister. Quick review. Alejandra Beatriz. Andrea Fabiola. Here, teacher. Alejandra. Okay, Andrea. César Guadalupe. Liliana Marielos. Joana y Esenia, José Daniel, Rafael Alejandro, Reina Elizabeth. Ok. Ok, let's guess we started talking about the relative clauses. No, oh, relative pronouns. Ok, remember. We combine two sentences in one or two ideas in one. Example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. So we say, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or I like guys that aren't too serious. I like guys. They have a good sense of humor. I like guys who have a good sense of humor. I like guys that have a good sense of humor. Okay. Um, I prefer someone, I can talk to him easily. I prefer someone I can talk to, uh, I can talk to easily or that I can talk to easily. Uh, and I prefer someone I have fun with him. I prefer someone who I have fun with that I have fun with, okay? Uh, but this is optional. Yeah. Okay, in this case, so the relative pronoun works as an object. Okay, now I want you to complete this. Let's start.
examples of this. I want you to complete, to quickly complete uh, this, the first part of the sentence. So you complete the idea, say whatever comes to your mind. Let me start with Alejandra. Alejandra, complete the, the sentence or complete the idea. I don't want to have a partner who, tara, tara. Alejandra, Not there, Andrea, I don't want to have a partner who, who I don't like, men. I don't like him, okay. Cecilia, I don't want to have a partner who are noisy. Okay, who is noisy is singular. Yes, uh, sorry, uh, who is noisy. Oh. Okay, Edgar, I like to meet people who Edson, I like to meet people. First time you meet me. Sorry? Sorry? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One second, I have the answer. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. But whatever comes to your oh. mind. Who I like, uh, who I like to uh, the, the the people, uh, sociable. I like to meet people who are sociable. Who are who are honest. sociable? Who are honest? Okay. Elvira, number three. I prefer a roommate. People, where are you? Irma, I prefer a roommate. I prefer a home a homemate and no and boring. Not boring. Okay, but you, you need to continue the sentence with who that yeah, remember? I don't that, want to have a partner. I... Uh -huh. I I prefer I prefer a roommate and that not boring. Okay. So Anna. Hello. Teacher, I don't like to be with people. Mm. Who, who, mm, who is, uh, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> bad, so. No voy a entrar y me agarró así. Okay, okay. Wake up, wake up. That's the idea. I know 9 p.m. is difficult. Who is um? Uh, who is Angry, I don't know. Angry. Okay, okay, that's that's good. But remember, people is a plural word. Okay, I don't like to be with people who are angry. Who are angry? Okay, thank uh -huh. you. Okay, uh, Nidia, I want to discuss my problems with friends. Oops. I want to discuss my problem with friends. Not there, Rafael. I um, want to discuss my problem with friends. 
I don't know, teacher. I think I are in cool. Real, real information about about you people. I'd rather have a um, boss. Let's see, Rafael. Are you there, Rafael? Yes, I am here, but I don't know what is the meaning of rarer. I prefer. Rarer. I'd rather is another way to say I prefer. Uh, I'd rather have a boss who is kindness, for example. Who is kind. Yeah, kindness is the, the noun. Kind is the adjective. Who okay. is kind. Okay. Um, let's see, Samuel, I'd prefer to have teachers. Who are not too pushy. Hey people, come on. So remember that we are talking about describing people. And uh, with these relative clauses, yeah, yeah, and these phrases or their these clauses or these sentences just help you to to introduce the the quality or a characteristic that you want in in this kind of person, okay, in your partner, in people in general, in a roommate, in with your friends so that, that's the idea of this so this this uh, relative pronouns help us to describe um, people places okay and in combining a couple of sentences that let me see I have something here I we can use to practice. Let me show you. Because in this, in the manual or in this material we have, you see uh, only who. But. Uh, Let me show you Okay. Okay, here we we have to complete the sentences, okay? With who, where, uh Sometimes which, sometimes, well, you're going to see. Let's try to guess. Look at this sentence. This is the man car was stolen yesterday. This is the man whose car, you know what is the meaning of whose? This is the man whose car was stolen yesterday. So you are describing the man. So you are giving more information about the man. 
And to introduce that information, we use this, what is called a relative pronoun. Whose? This is the man whose car was stolen yesterday. It's not another man. It's, it's this specific man, this particular man. Get it? Get it? Okay. Let's go with this one. A doctor is a person. Make people feel better. What word is missing here? That. We could, we could use that or who? Who? who. A doctor is a person who make people feel better. Okay. This is what we are doing. Okay. This is the hospital I was born. Where? Where? See? In the in the material we only have who. So we could we could use who, where, whose, which, okay, that, which we should be Okay, this is the hospital where I was born. That's the girl brother is in my class. Who's? Yes, who's? That's the girl whose brother is in my class. Mm. A car park is a place you can park your car. Where? Where? A car park is a place. Llevándose a gente X, o sea, gente que le va a servir después de un. Ajá, de una catástrofe. Could you please turn off your microphone? Tenemos que hacernos ingenieros, lo que sea. Lo que esto nos queda no me quiere. A la onda. Please be careful with your microphones, okay, when you're talking to someone else. Okay. A car park is a place where you can park your car. Okay. My grandma is a helicopter pilot coming to visit next week. Easy. My grandma, who is a helicopter pilot, is coming to visit big. Relative pronoun. A vegetarian is a person who doesn't eat meat. Who? 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 These are the shoes I bought last week. That. Yeah, that. we could use that or which. which. We could use that or which. Both are correct. Okay. These are the shoes which I bought last week or that I bought last week. Actually, that can could be used instead of which or who. What's the name of the man mm, car you borrow? Who's? Who's? Yes. What's the name of the man whose car you borrow? This film is about a woman who mm, becomes invisible. Who's? Say who? Who? Um, there's the area. 
Okay, you have to combine these two sentences in one using who. How would you do it? Jupiter decided to throw the earth who was who was injured at the I don't know mm -hmm. the pronunciation evil 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 ways of humanity. I don't know. It's correct, teacher. Ooh, we have to check. Any other idea, people? Two ideas. Jupiter decided to flood the Earth. He was anger at the evil ways of humanity. Let's see. Jupiter, Jupiter, who was angered by the evil ways of humanity, decided to flood. Jupiter, who was angered by the evil ways of humanity, decided to flood. The okay, this is again one word. The Mayans live in Central America, built some amazing temples. What word? Who, where, which, what, or oh, on? Who? Where, which? Where? Where? <laughs> Talking about the Mayans. Who? Who lived in the lived. Mayans lived in Central America, built something. That's the woman dog bit the postman. Whose? That's the woman whose dog have bit the bird. This film is about a woman. Ah, the same. It comes in this. Huh? Who? Who? You see, this is similar to the ones that we have in the book. I don't like people who eat with their mouth open. Who? Who? Yes. Who? My people who eat with their mouth. Does the teacher mm, taught me English last year? As a teacher, who? Who? That? Who taught me? Oh. As of teach. <laughs> That's the English who taught me English right? This. Dracula was written by Bram Stoker. It's about a vampire. Where are we talking about a place? Oh, are we talking about a person, an object, place? That okay. ah, we could use that. Or which. Because we are not talking about the person, Dracula, the book, novel. Yeah, Dracula, 
as written by Bram Stoker, is about a boundary. Or that, you could use that. <clears throat> That's the old woman I often see on my way to work. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the old woman who I often see. That's the old woman who I often see on my way to work. This is the restaurant. Mm, I laid an amazing pizza. Nice. Where? Where? This is the restaurant where I ate an amazing pizza. The town we spent our holidays was very beautiful. Nice. Where? 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 The town where we spent our holidays was very beautiful. This is the train that goes to Madrid. Which? Or that. Okay. I hope this helped you to get it better. Okay. What okay. is this? That is what this is about. Um, that's why here you have some uh, what these adjectives or traits and the description of these traits. Okay. Sociable, tolerant, modest, temperamental, ego egotistical, easygoing. Um, Okay, so we're cheating. <laughs> okay, sociable, intolerant, modest, temperamental, physical, easygoing, stingy, unreliable, supportive. You have here the description of these traits. You have to match word with the definition, okay? They want you to write P for positive, if you consider that this trait is positive, or N, if you consider that this trait is negative. For example, sociable, which definition is for social? Letter F. Letter F. A person who enjoys being, being, being with other people. Being with other people. Okay. I F. Is that positive or negative? Positive. That's positive. Positive. Okay. I'll give you time to continue with the rest. Match the words with the definitions and write P or N. Um, 
And I also will send you to working groups, too, okay? Does practice your English. Okay. Go to the breakout rooms, please. Join your small group and work on that exercise together. Okay, ladies, you join the small groups, please.
Roller B dijo. Son Ajá. Letter one. Pasan like. Give me things to people. Pero eso es como. Uh -huh. Podría ser. B. Letter B. Está entre el B y el R C, ¿verdad? Porque ahora sí. Es... Okay. El, 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 el number five. I think that is letter B. Someone who doesn't like. Number number five, I think is letter B. Letter E, right? ¿Cómo? Number eight. Es letter E. In the nine is I. No, es D. D. Oh, okay. D. D, I think, I don't know. I, we put I on the tree, no? Number three. I. La ocho sería la y la última sería la la vi sí yo no y es la es positivo ocho sería la letter E o I y la number nine number eh, sería la D entonces la E sería negativa
<clears throat> okay, people. Now, I, I want to practice. I want to see how you can do it with this exercise, okay? The idea is to apply this knowledge, to apply this uh, relative pronouns, okay? We have 10 minutes to do it. I have four teams. I have four teams and we're going to play with four teams, okay? Let's start with Alejandra. Team one, Alejandra. Hi. Look at your, your sentence. Well, it's not a sentence, so you have to describe what what is a kettle? You have kettle. Uh huh. Um, um, it's a uh, utensil in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 okay, but let's let's try. To how, 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 this. how do you say utensil? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So it's a. Uh, um okay it's a tool it's not a tool, tool. Mm -hmm. now let's say tool the maker sorry is uh, maybe coffee 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 maker okay whatever you want to do but similar no, you you, you <laughs> have to say something like this is the... es algo que tú usas para tal cosa. Va. Say that in English. Para calentar agua. How would you say that? It's something that you use to boil water. Okay. Okay. You see? It's something that you use. The, the relative pronoun. That. Of which it's something which you use to boil water, to heat water, to make tea, whatever, okay? It's something that you use to boil water to make tea, okay? I'm exercise I like this. Let's see. Okay. Aquí no hay respuestas perfectas ni únicas. The answer is good. Team two, this is a competition between your teams. Okay, team two, Edba. Yeah, easy. You have to complete with a relative pronoun here. There is a play where people used to walk with. No, no, you have, to complete, you have to complete the sentence using a. A relative pronoun here. Ah. People whose dog dogs walk around. Uh huh. Yeah. Unleashed. See, ah, I, I didn't. People, People who still walk around on on loose are mm, are responsible, irresponsible, or responsible, responsible. Yeah. The okay, but people whose dog whose dogs walk around unleashed are, you say, responsible. I would say irresponsible. <laughs> Team three, Andrea. Ah, desert. A desert is a very hot place. Yeah, no, I have relative pronoun. I a desert is a place where you can see a meal. Uh -huh. Okay, 
Okay, good. So it's a place where, good, uh, perfect. Uh, Edson. I am enjoyed, and enjoyed by five characters uh, that movie. <laughs> the, I am annoyed. Do you know the meaning of annoyed? Yes. Yeah. In coma? Yes, upset. And annoyed. Uncomfortable. By film characters okay. that that mm. don't talk <laughs> dance or oh, no the show are, that are silly that are stupid that are violent that are stupid <laughs> yeah. ridiculous <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Another one. Let's go with Cecilia. Cecilia? I enjoy spending my time with people who are funny. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Elvira. Oh, two <laughs> points. Uh, another one, Elvira. Extra. Talking about movies. What is an extra? This is a this is a extra. Could be a trailer. What what is an extra in a film, in a movie? An extra is a person who who's is not, who's not important. Who's not important? Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> an extra is an actor that no who makes risky things. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. An extra is a, an, an actor or a person who just feels, feels the space or feels the scene. <laughs> okay. That's an extra. Cesar? Oh, a surgeon. What is a surgeon? A surgeon uh, is a person who make me feel better. Okay. Uh, Joanna. Subway. What is the subway? Subway is where. Oh, I don't know. Is is where uh -huh. is something that you use uh trasladarse? It, I don't know. How do you say trasladarse? Transport to commute to go. From a place um, to another. It's something that you use. Um, Public transport. To go, to go uh, um, uh, Cualquier. Eh, se me ha olvidado la, el significado any? de cualquier. Any. Any place. Okay. Okay. It's a place where we prepare sandwiches. Okay.
José Daniel. Ay. Yes. Place the parts. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I am I going to place um the parts. Hmm, I don't get it actually. I avoid going to places where where this is different. Where where are many risks? Okay. Or where is dangerous? Where is dangerous? I avoid going to places that are dark. I avoid going to places where there are too many people. I don't know. Are too crowded. Huh? <clears throat> Who's next? Rafael? Mechanic. What is a mechanic? A mechanic is a person who reports things. Okay. Irma? I love being in places. I I love being in place where 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 I can uh -huh. I can be the beach. Uh, okay. I love being in places where I can relax, where I can be alone, where I can enjoy, where I can sleep. Okay. Um, Catherine? Castle. What is a castle? There, huh? <laughs> common things, but sometimes are difficult to define. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Is that big place? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, any idea, people? A castle, a castle is a place, is a place that, place that is dark. That is dark. <laughs> a, a castle is a place where the king and queen lives. Yes, where the king or queen live. Uh huh. Okay. It's the home of Dracula. <laughs> okay, people, it's time to start. So don't use the common use of relative pronoun. Okay. So that's that's the idea. We'll continue tomorrow. Have a good night, people. Take care. Have a good one, teacher. You too. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Teacher, good night. Good night. Good night to tomorrow. See you.